Today we'll look at the best way to uh, simplify and loosen up your painting style. It involves getting a bit out of your comfort zone, but I promise you it's going to be fun and full of useful hands-on information. We're going to be working on small paintings like this and I can't wait to get started. Let's go. So I took a larger sheet of uh, watercolor paper and divided it with some masking tape to make uh, smaller individual spaces. A really great way to loosen up is to use tools and materials that are a little bit more difficult to control than uh, what we uh, normally like to think of. So uh, let me show you a few ways I like to uh, explore and experiment uh, when I loosen up. So first I'm just gonna add a little bit of paint here to my disposable palette and I got my water out. When trying to loosen up our painting style, um, one of my favorite ways is actually to, to use very large brushes. Uh, this is a decorator's brush from the hardware store in fact uh, and I like this very short handle so uh, try and see if you have something uh, already that you can use. This brush was actually a friend of mine who was uh, getting rid of some of uh, his uh, stuff from his uh, old shed and he wanted to get rid of this. And uh, when I saw it, I thought, whoa, I really gotta have this. So uh, it's really a case of uh, one man's trash is a, another man's treasure or another woman's treasure. So I, uh, it's really old and rusty uh, and I think uh, it's very worn as well, but I think it's going to be perfect because I won't be able to control this. And it's perfect for making experiments and to really uh, not being able to control what I'm doing 100%. So let's try this big brush out. So I'm just going to wet the paper in a few spots here. And maybe I'll start with the burnt sienna. Just um, adding quite a bit of water because I want it moving around on my paper. So let's see here. Well, that's quite nice. Um, what I'm trying to do now is really to get some marks down on the paper, just some different marks. It's making some very unexpected streaking marks that I sort of like. Let me get a bit more. So now I'm basically just gonna make something with this brush on all the uh, different squares here. Try and make something a bit different and see what kind of marks it can make. Um, here I didn't use as much water, here I used a lot more water. Let's see, what can we do? Hmm. So the purpose here is just to really uh, try, get to know uh, some uh, new tools or uh, Maybe some tools you don't use often. Uh, I know a lot of you might find it very scary to use these big brushes, but uh, I promise you, keep practicing and you'll get the hang of it. You will uh, gain more and more courage and uh, your paintings will become looser and looser and uh, a lot more uh, simplified and just the way you're looking for. Hmm. Maybe I should try something up here. Okay, my paint is actually sort of drying out. Maybe I can just, I can't help myself. I'm gonna scratch into this paint a little bit while it's wet. I'm not gonna overthink this a lot, but I would like to think in contrasts here. So. I had a warm color and I used kind of watery, loose paint. So what can I do now that is sort of the opposite thing? 
I could uh, use uh, some dry medium instead, dry media. So that could be a uh, pencil, for example, or some crayons. I got this pencil here, so let me just... That's very different to this uh, warm and sort of fluid marks that I got. So let's try and make some, uh, some different marks with the pencil. I like to roll the pencil when I am uh, using it just to uh, get some marks that are a lot more alive, you could say they're not as... Uh, but if you like straight lines, you should definitely uh, do that instead. But again, the purpose here is to explore, trying different marks, what's different. And you can go on top of the paint, you can go next to it. Um, you might be wondering what I am uh, thinking of here uh, as I'm doing this. I'm sort of in a play mode, you could say. Um, so it's... Uh, these are probably based on uh, landscapes, because if you've seen my videos before, you know that I absolutely love uh, landscapes and things from the natural world. So um, it's not from a particular landscape, but I do feel they're a bit uh, autumn inspired. Uh, maybe it's the colors as well. Uh, I just really chose the colors uh, randomly um, uh, on intuition, you could say. So choose your favorite colors, perhaps, uh, or color of the season. I find that uh, my colors uh, change a bit throughout the year, following the seasons a bit. All right. A lot of times we get really focused on the end result. Will it look good? Will others like it? Will I feel I've wasted time or art materials? Um, but learning something new is usually uncomfortable and hard. But that's okay. Um, it's normal. So I encourage you to keep going and don't give up. I want to add some of this blue color over here, but I feel it might be a bit dark, so maybe I should uh, get some white paint. Um, I'm going to take some uh, of this Prussian blue and some white. The colors you use uh, isn't what's important here, but try and think in uh, opposite colors um, or contrasting colors in some way. A light color, a dark color perhaps. Here I'm using a warm color. And this Prussian blue is quite a cool color. So let's uh, see what we can do here. It's so sort of similar, this brush, to the other one. Um, the edges is kind of frayed and uh, I suspect it's going to make a similar mark. Yeah, maybe I'll add a bit more water, it seems to be. I don't want to be able to control this as much. I'll add a bit more white, perhaps. And even more water. The more fluid the, pa the paint gets, the less control I have over it. Uh, and that's another tip for you. Try and... Uh, use the paints in a different way. I could also uh, kind of uh, drip the paint on here or um, uh, use it uh, in a, uh, let's try that. I'm afraid I'll get paint all over the camera here. Okay, no, that's okay. So I'm trying to use the marks uh, differently on each uh, painting. And maybe I'll actually get a paper towel. I like uh, paper towels because they can uh, be used to move paint around and also to absorb uh, paint in different ways. So I'm just going to use it a bit over here too. To 
move the paint around and it can also make its own marks which I find kind of interesting and you can see all what we're doing here is uh, very loose very abstract uh, very playful and uh, that's the whole point you uh, you really have to experiment and try things and become an explorer um, an explorer to find out what is uh, something you like what do you love about uh, paint what do you love about texture what marks do you love and the only way you can do that is to uh, well you can look at other artists work of course to get ideas but you have to really make your own experiments it's very very important um, it's the only way to to uh, really get uh, a feeling you have to have it in your hands and your fingers I encourage you do your experiments uh, and and find out what uh, what is fun for you this turned out very interesting down here and this kind of got very dark up here so maybe I will just add a little bit more white to that and see how that turned out. This has now been drying for a little bit and I got some uh, clean water as well as some uh, black paint out because um, I feel a lot of these could use a little bit more of a dark contrast. Um, this is uh, something to kind of anchor the composition a bit more in each one. Um, I don't really have a clear uh, idea of uh, what this would look like, but I want to definitely want to add some uh, very dark color. So I'm just taking a bit of pure black uh, acrylics here. Uh, and I'm going to add that to uh, each painting and see how that looks. Hmm, I don't really like that. So I'll move on to the next one. Let's see here. Um, make a bit of dark down here as a contrast. So here at this stage, I'm sort of thinking about uh, contrasts again, um, some dark, uh, very dark value up against some very light value um, to uh, kind of spark a bit of, I can't help myself, I'm adding some texture as well. But really, uh, it's all about playing and uh, trying things out, what will happen. Maybe I can smear this a bit with my paper towel and see what happens. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. But it's definitely... Um, maybe you feel the same. You have this, uh, okay, how is this going to look? What's the end result? And I, I really have to park park those uh, thoughts uh, and not think about that when I'm uh, when I'm working on this because um, it's blocking my uh, my creativity, I feel. Mm. I don't want too much of this dark down here. Maybe a little bit up here. So uh, try and think in uh, contrasts. And that's really uh, something that I like to, to do. It, uh, always uh, sort of uh, thinking what can I add that is uh, different, that is, can make these things stand out. Actually, let me just make this all the way dark. That kind of looked interesting. Let me just keep some, I like this uh, lighter part up here. So I'm going to put a bit of Mm, visual uh, visual weight here at the bottom I think this one is very kind of uh, wishy-washy uh, I think because I didn't have really a clear uh, direction but that's okay you know because I uh, 
I have the chance now to uh, add something to it, um, to give it a bit of an edge. Let's see here. Um, let's see what happens. Make this very dark. Hmm, that's kind of interesting because we, I can see the, the color underneath there. Okay, I have a, a cat that's uh, knocking on the window over here. He wants to go out. So uh, a quick break before he starts uh, to meow and uh, make noise. It's still, uh, it's not pleasing at all to me, this uh, thing over here. So I'm gonna stop that. I have uh, already some favorites. Um, but uh, I could keep going uh, on these uh, on and on and uh, kind of see where they lead me. They're quite different. Um, I have the same colors. I have kind of a similar theme perhaps going with the mark making. But each uh, individual one is very different and that's what I like uh, because it can really um, propel uh, my uh, ideas uh, forward um, and uh, I might not uh, end up uh, with more than one of these that I actually like but that one little practice uh, painting could uh, spark so much uh, idea, so many ideas and so much uh, creativity to uh, push me forward both uh, for uh, motivating me to uh, keep practicing and keep painting but also um, just uh, the more ideas you get, the more they feed into new ideas. It's kind of um, a self-enforcing uh, thing, which I think is really great. So I'm going to work a little bit more on this. This was part one of Best Way to Loosen Up. I will link to part two at the end of this video once it's available. In the meantime, go and download your free guide on how to loosen up your painting style. I will leave a link below this video where you can go and grab it. See you in part two.